composed of a series of small bones, which together support the weight of the entire body, while simultaneously providing the impetus for locomotion. The foot is composed of a series of small bones, which together support the weight of the entire body, while simultaneously providing the impetus for locomotion. When viewing the skeleton, it may seem impossible that a structure as delicate as the foot can possibly support the entire body. Possible. While viewing the skeleton, it may seem impossible that a structure as delicate as the foot could possibly support the weight of the entire body. Indeed, it is a feat of remarkable architectural engineering. It is a feat of remarkable I architectural believe. to be the strongest of all structures, and when the foot is arranged, it is a series of arches which combine to form a dome when the two feet are parallel one another. divided into three major sections, the phalange, the metatarsals, and the tarsals. The five toes are numbered from medial to lateral, one to five. The first toe, the great toe, has two phalange. All four of the lesser toes have three phalange. There is precisely one metatarsal bone for each of the toes, and these two are numbered one to five. The tarsals are as follows. Proximal, the first, second, and third metatarsals are the first, second, and third cuneiforms. Lateral to the third cuneiform and proximal to the fourth and fifth metatarsals is the cuboid. The navicular is medial to the cuboid and proximal to the cuneiforms. The talus is proximal to the cuneiform and navicular and superior to the calcaneus. Superior. <laughs> superior. 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 